Hey everybody, this is EZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X 2. Well, basically, there were no Chocobo on the highland because there just weren't any Chocobo on the high road. And we're gonna head to Mushroom Rock now for the Mushroom Rock B mission. And yeah. How's everyone doing today? Uh, this is kind of funny, actually. What we're gonna do here. Ah, it's those creeps again. We could just jump it up and down like that thing's wrong. It's our turn to do the following. No, you know. Why would you? Do? You ripped on the block so much for following you. You decided to go follow her. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. You haven't forgotten Who the hell are you? You weren't even in 10! Yaibel, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. You may have had a cameo, uh, really but we never knew your people. name in 10. Really Why are you acting like, oh, we should remember you? Since that day we first spoke, the Youth You're League nothing. has been conducting a spear hunt of its own. We, the Youth League? Hmm. <clears throat> nothing at all. Let's go. Take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's path... Oh, Clocker, you're still a pansy ass who doesn't know how to take initiative in his life! For ruins and spheres. If you guys don't know what I mean, watch my tenic. Oh, LP. that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, okay, you okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Operation, you are a military organization result, the road to headquarters who fights and fiends. defends your right warned, to get spheres and whatever the road, to learn spheres past. So, you, you will you fight against New Yevon. You will fight against anybody who's against you. Understood. Expect to encounter but you won't fight little fiends here and there? Really? What sense does that make? That's it. Good luck. What is wrong with Let's you? Let's go. Show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you, Clasco? Why? Brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille when she joined. Sorry for that little cut there, folks. Something came up in the recording. But I had to I'm cut for a second. Um, oh. but yeah, seriously, I think Clasco's like no, but Yibel, what is up with you? Faster than the wind. You're creepy there, Clasco. You ain't immune, you're creepy. I don't know why you want to ride a chocolate faster than the wind. It's a bird! You want to ride Big Bird! Find your way to Sesame Street! Because that's where you're going to find him. And I know this is hard to see, but in this mission... The darker it is, the hard the darker it is, the higher the threat of an enemy attack is. Now this is hard for me to see on my own because when I record I gotta use a separate computer than when I'm recording the audio one. And that computer I have to do it on a really small screen because it doesn't because I can't see I guess honestly I can't see the timer. If I don't. So yeah. Um, this mission is tricky because you can't see sometimes, and even in the fight scenes like you just saw, if it's not light outside, it's going to be darkened in there for uh, the fight. So, yeah, what are you guys going to do? Excuse the yawning, folks, I have been up since 7 a.m. And, oh, okay, guys didn't know, I recently got a new job. Therefore, these recordings will be coming out at random times. So I might not have time to record since I now work a 9 to 5 job as opposed to a gas station and a supermarket. And I'm going to escape from these guys, not because I can't kill them, but because that fight would take too long. And I'm going to level grind later on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to level grind. So. I have no idea why I'm yawning so much right now. I really don't. I'm mean, not even this tired. I'm just yawning for some reason. I have no idea why. And again, we get a dark fight. 
with a coyote and three elementos, which I am not going to kill. Like I stated in the last time. However, this game looks throwing this in turn encounter at me! Even though it's obvious that I do not want to fight them! And I have no idea how I saw that chest was there. Anyway! What we're we doing here? We are fighting another battle with an elemental, a bully cap, and a coyote. And I am aware that this entire mission is fight the enemies. We have fiends. Get to headquarters. So, what we are doing is going the exact wrong direction we're supposed to go, and I have a reason why. You'll see why in a minute. Why well, I'm going the exact wrong direction. And if you notice, I waited for Riku there. I never really explained this, but you get combos by the more hit, the more consecutive hits you get. Trigger happy is the best way to raise your combo because. Sorry again, you can shoot 20 to 30, depends how fast your trigger finger is. Like that. This so. No yeah. Nor this one. What are you guys trying to do in there? What are you doing? Exactly! <gasps> Let's get out of here. Why? We must inform the boss. So you're gonna shoot at me? Hey, they and you fade a... Okay. Finders keepers. And this is the most commonly missed crimson sphere in the game. You'll find out all of them do later on. But turn around and what was this one in the door there? Who's that? Hey, long time no see. Remember me? You were actually relevant in the first Glad game, so yes, I remember you. How have you been? I joined up with the youth. The reason I keep saying I remember everybody is I'm not a hundred percent, but I think that ah, you need to say you remember them all trying out a new way to get a hundred percent in one playthrough. Actually, Posse's a sphere hunter. So too. yeah. He's the leader of the kindergartens. Be nice to him if you see him. The How kindergartens! Yeah, I was a sorrow. You guys will find a sorrow soon enough, and I'm pretty sure you will do the same thing that I did when I first saw him, and laugh your ass off. Because he is a sorrow, and he is completely different from how he was in Final Fantasy X. But in this one here, we have Moroda. Who I'm sure you all remember was the guardian of Isaru in the so other game, I'll, which makes uh, it kind of hilarious that he's you. back in this one. I'm sorry, because he's not even anywhere near Isaru, and I vaguely recall them actually talking for maybe a minute. This place is off limits. The entire Please game. Leave. Isaru, he hasn't changed. Oh the yes, he has, Morada. This place is off. I don't know if you've actually seen Isaru lately. But he is completely different. And again, now we're going back to the actual mission here, where we are going to... Fight more fiends! And I do find it funny as hell that the objective of this mission is to kill the fiends. However, we are capable of running from every single encounter in this area. Why? Seriously, why? That does not make any sense how we can do that. We should not be able to run from all the encounters when the point of what we're doing is to kill all the enemies in every encounter. So how are we able to actually run from them all? If anybody can explain that. Anybody. Please tell me, because that is actually kind of bugging me how we can do that. The thing that bugs me is, why don't they level up at the same rate? They each need the same required experience. No, they don't. They each can get to the same level. They get the same experience per level, or per kill, yet they get different experience. And they need different level. 
How? Why does they? Why do they do that? Yuna makes sense. She was not in the very beginning of the game. We had Riku and Pain. That's why they're ahead by 20 points. However, why don't Pain and Riku level at the same pace? They should hit at the same time. Why is that? That's something that's always bugged me since the first time I played this game. Because in every other game, if you get to a certain point, they level at the same rate. Given Final Fantasy X, the sphere levels are completely different, but the game showed you you were supposed to grind at certain points here and there. When you got Riku at the moon flow, you were supposed to have two, three hundred points per sphere level like Riku had in the game. That's how you were supposed to do it. I didn't click repeat it earlier, but that was how you were originally supposed to do it. That is why they didn't level at the same rate, because you had a different setup of the game, and the fact that you had got characters at different times. However, you notice Waka and Titus, five to get it, but you only had three to begin with, and then he came to ten, same as Waka. They were evened out. Why is it different? Why? Because in this game, you level up at a different rate. Look at those numbers there. Completely different. It makes no sense how they did the leveling system in this game. And the levels, they mean a lot more than in most games. If you're a low level, you will die. It does not matter how your setup is, what gear you have, what dress for you have, what anything. If your level is low, you're gonna die. And there's nothing you can do about it. And that is what sucks about this, because there's no way around it. You have to go with the broken ass leveling system of everybody being uneven, which therefore meaning one character could be more over level than somebody else simply because you fought the normal battles that you're supposed to fight? I could get used to this. That doesn't make sense. At all. But it's Square's game element, but they want with it. And we're going to continue our walk down the Mushroom Rock Road, which I believe is what this is called, if I remember right. Or this is the road, I don't think this is the road. And we should maybe run into a few more encounters. Now, if you did this mission later in the game and you had an item called the Charm Bangle, it's completely broken. Because that item gives you no encounters. Which means this entire point of this mission, anything in this mission that matters, the entire point whatsoever, killing the fiends on the road, you can simply avoid. Because there's not a scripted battle in here. These are all random encounters. Therefore, do this mission later in the chapter, but right before you finish the chapter, you may be able to get the Charm Bank. If you can, use it, and you will have no encounters going into this. And it will be probably the easiest mission you have ever done in your life. You just run around the road, and you got it. Good. Now, look at that. 33 for Riku, 72 for Pain, but their experience is exactly the same. No difference whatsoever in experience. Why do they level differently? You got them at the same time. The Final Fantasy VIII way was weird, where no matter what level you were, you need a thousand experience to level up. But it worked. Because you got characters at different levels, and you could equal it up easier by putting them out, and get a thousand experience and putting them back into even out. This, the only way you can ever even it out, even in 10, if you had to even somebody out, you could pull them out of the party. The only way to even somebody out in this game is to kill them in a fight to get them killed. And at one point, the experience gaps so much that Riku should be two levels higher than Yuna. And nobody dies! But I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to not harp on that anymore in this episode because there's no need to in this episode. I'm not going to harp on that anymore. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, you guys get the picture. Anyway, we cut down here. Oh, wow! Lady Yuna. You're Elma, right? It's me, Elma. It's been so long. No, I don't think I've made an option to see if I remember her. How are you? Give it up for everybody Never else. Why better. not her? She's now that I'm in the youth league, a person. I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. Um, on, yeah. Right away, Captain. But I could have put a necklace on or a bracelet on that would just make them run away from me. That would work too. <sighs> I like that one. Wow, look at you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? What are you, a commander or a captain? Or what are you, Alma? You still under somebody or is it your own? The Heart of Flame Garbage Grid! We have acquired. Now we get to walk up and then ride an elevator, which still makes no sense how they could actually have that work, but. 
I'm not going to complain. Because it's better than scaling another mountain and running into another encounter. And now we get another black screen apparently because the game is lush with those that is. This is Youth League headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago. Okay, can someone tell me why would the Youth League, someone who is around to learn the history of Spear and everything, build your headquarters on the ruins and put your flag on the ruins of an Albed Machina cannon that died in the battle against Sin? In probably the bloodiest battle and the worst battle that you guys have ever done. What sense does that make? Hey, I see someone familiar up there. Looks like it's Lucille. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the youth league. Now you're the commander, not the captain. It's good to see you. Hiya! What is the difference there? You, can see, I have you still are in charge of your own unit, and you're still not even the highest ranking officer the in the Youth Our League. Has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well. So wake his ass up! We got to win tomorrow. Sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. Now we'll just fly around spares some more until eventually we decide to land back again. Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these Who is this Nuge guy you speak of? The spheres of yore. Why is he there? Also revolves around a sphere, but Was he in Final Fantasy X? I don't think so. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. Why would someone oh, this important to the story My apologies. just be thrown in there at the last minute? There sure do seem to be a lot of weirdos around <laughs> here. <laughs> Look who's talking. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have a questionable past. <laughs> Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. Well, that's funny, Riku, because no, it actually used the Thief League a little bit. Far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new spear out. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. But will we actually meet Maven Nuge? But I can Who think of Maven is Maven Nuge? And were the Lady Yuna to join our cause? And will we fall asleep during the next episode? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X.